Now and Future Champions concludes with the third heat of the 1973 Kentucky Futurity. Enjoy. In the third heat, O'Brien again keeps Arnie Almahurst back off the gate. They're off and trotting, Knightley Wade drives out fast to the inside, Noble Jade. From the outside, Arnie Almahurst and down along the rail, Flirt. Noble Jade leads the way, but Arnie Almahurst drives up on the outside now to challenge as they go to the quarter mile mark. It's Noble Jade and Arnie Almahurst past the quarter in 30 seconds flat, and Arnie Almahurst races to the front, and Flirth is coming right along to challenge him. Ralph Baldwin brings Flirth up on the outside, Arnie Almahurst down along the rail. Flirth trotting powerfully gets the lead, Arnie Almahurst is now second as they move into the half mile mark. Flirth leading, Arnie Almahurst second past the half in 59 and one fifth seconds. Flirth has the lead on the inside, Arnie Almahurst second on the outside, Noble J third at the rail and Knightley Way is fourth. They turn for home, Flirth leads the way, but Arnie Almahurst is coming on. Arnie Almahurst powers up now and gets the lead. Flirt is second, Knightley Way trotting fast, and Lucky Hill comes to the inside for the stretch drive. Coming to the wire, it's Arnie Almahurst, Flirt, Knightley Way, Noble Jade, and Lucky Hill, and Arnie Almahurst wins the Kentucky Futurity 159 and 4. It is Arnie Almahurst's Kentucky Futurity, and Joe O'Brien's and Gene Regal's too, as new co owner Frederick L. Van Lennup also shares Victory Lane. Bred in Kentucky, Arnie returns to winning ways and to stallion duty in his native bluegrass. The harness horse of this year, however, was the brilliant Sir Dalray. Unraced as a two-year-old, a failure as a trotter at three and then the sport's greatest pacer as a four-year-old. He won 15 consecutive races against the best in North America for trainer driver Jim Dennis and owner Bill Smith. And the speed and power he shows here in the most impressive of those triumphs, Harness Tracks of America's $50,000 United States Pacing Championship in Chicago, shows why he was voted the finest harness horse in the sport. Sir Dalray, and the other stars of this year, both established and rising, made it a memorable championship season in a great and growing sport. <laughs>